Okay, hello everyone. It's currently 8.59, so like 9. And I'm going to start reading It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover at 9.10. Yeah, 9.10. Uh, I'm just gonna eat something real quick so I don't like fall asleep. So yeah, I, I hope I love this book like everyone else. Yeah, and I know it has some really difficult topics like toxic relationships and maybe abuse, I don't know for sure, but if you're thinking about reading that book, but some of these topics trigger you, please read the trigger warnings and don't read the book. Yeah, I just wanted to say that. I know that I'm going to feel uncomfortable reading it, but I, I can handle it, I think. Let's go. Okay, this is going to be mostly a spoiler-free video, but skip just this part if you don't want any spoilers. I'm in the beginning still, but this guy has the nerve to just say, I wanna f*** you out of nowhere. What was that? What was that? I didn't. I just know he's gonna cause most of the problems it's who says that out of nowhere just, i want to fuck you oh my god my mouth literally dropped it was just like <laughs> okay well that was what i wanted to say it is time it's the perfect sound Feels like a fever dream. Did he? Did he just begged for? Oh my god! What am I reading? What is this? The guy is pathetic. I'm sorry, but he is. <laughs> so I'm on page a hundred and something, and I just want to say that I want more Atlas. More Atlas, please. Less Riley. More Atlas. Yeah, I hate Riley, so more Atlas, <laughs> please, but uh, I think it's not gonna happen. I think it's gonna be more Riley than Atlas, which I'm sad about. that he was not doing anything because he's 18 she's 15 i was liking that he was just like kind of a friend to her but then they had to kiss and it ruined it for me because now i cannot root for them i was expecting or i was hoping that they would only have something when she was older like 18 um and was like at legal age even, even if she was like almost 16, like that doesn't matter for me. If she was 18, then that would be okay. And because of the age difference right there, I am disgusted with him. He should not have kissed her right there. I don't care if he was going away, he should not have kissed her. Yeah, I'm mad because I was liking him. I was actually thinking that he could be a good love interest for her, but now I'm disgusted. Now I'm disgusted with the two of them. I'm disgusted with Riley and with Atlas. So, I don't know. I, I don't think I should be rooting for anyone right now. I think I should only be rooting for Lily. I know this is not a romance. It's way, way more than that. And not even close to that, actually. It's just um, a 
fictional book that talks about hard topics and I like that part of the book but I was liking the relationship more like friendship and caring relationship that was had with Lily but because this happened it just ruined it for me yeah that's all I wanted to say I don't know tell me in the comments what do you think about it I just think it's not right I finished it in Lunas and I have a lot of thoughts yeah so firstly let's talk about the author's note I think she was so brave for putting that at the end of the book and I respect her so much for it I felt so much in that author's note. I felt <laughs> I felt more emotions in that author's note than the book itself. That doesn't mean the book is bad um, or anything. I just feel like she put her heart at the end and it was painful. I gave the book 3.5 or 3.75, something in that range, because it didn't feel like a four star for me. It's close to a four star. Let's talk about the book itself. So uh, earlier in this video I talked about how the kind of age gap thing with Atlas because she was 15 and he was 18 kind of bothered me and I'm not gonna lie it still does bother me a little bit but when they're adults and they reconcile at the end and end up together i i liked it so i think i'm gonna read the next book i think i'm gonna read it starts with us because it's basically only her and that was right that's what i've heard about it still bothers me that he, they were making out when she was a minor and he was not but i'm gonna let it pass maybe i don't know because I like him as an adult. So, Riley, I don't have much to say about him. Just <laughs> that's it. And the book was good at dealing with the topics of abuse, of toxic, toxic relationships, and why the victims stay in these abusive relationships, and why it's not all black and white. It's not like, oh, just leave. If he beats you, just leave. I mean, that's a dumb, <laughs> dumb way to think. It's not that simple. And I think the book dealt with that part really well and showed the reader that it's not that simple leaving relationships like that. It was a good read. I think it's important to read about these topics. So that's all I want to say. I feel kind of heavy inside after reading this book. I didn't cry which I see a lot of people crying while reading the book, but it impacted me, of course, emotionally. I just didn't cry. So, yeah, if you're thinking of reading the book, please check the trigger warnings and then read it because it's a tough one. It is, and I don't want anyone to get hurt. That's it. That's my review. Thank you for watching me reading Colin Hoover for a full day. I hope you liked it and... Till next video.